When I came to do the Diploma in Corporate Governance, I was actually coming from a background, I'm a Chartered Accountant, so I thought I was au fait enough with the regulatory side of things, and I was coming to learn a lot about the culture of boards, board behaviour, the strategic aspects of, of being on a board and the issues that arise on a board. Um, so I was actually very surprised when I came to the, uh, do the Diploma that um, my expectations were exceeded. In fact, um, the expertise of the lecturers and their way of uh, sharing with us the subject matter in a practical way, that was uh, second to none. But uh, what was most beneficial actually was the uh, experience and the diversity of the people in the room. So um, a lot of people were in that room were coming from various shades of experience, if you like. A lot of them were seasoned uh, veterans of the board. Uh, some of them were in uh, CEO, uh, senior management positions. More importantly, they came from a lot of different sectors uh, there was public sector, there was the private sector, and that involved the banking, financial services, we had charities, not-for-profits, we had uh, fast-moving consumer, fast consumer goods, we had agri-food. So we had an awful lot of uh, perspectives that came from, um, from, from the participants in the course. And combined with the, with the expertise of the lecturers and the, the engaging way in which they, they, they taught the subject matter, um, I, my, my expectations were exceeded really in terms, of, um, in terms of what I got and took away from the course. I am a chartered accountant, so I have a certain grounding in uh, corporate governance before I actually came to the course. Um, I'd be familiar with the various different regulations, uh, company law and uh, various different codes. Um, what I was most interested in learning about was actually the practical application of that and, and the various different boards dynamics and the various issues and, and how crisis management etc. So I came in with that expectation but when I actually reflect and I look at the um, what the, perhaps the key learning for me was from, from, from the course I couldn't identify any one subject matter and say that you know what I'm a better uh, knowledge and grasp of the legislation, I have a better grasp of board behaviour, I have a better grasp of ethics and corporate social responsibility. I certainly do have a very good understanding as a result of the course but the most important learning point for me was how it was all combined together and uh, once you've covered everything uh, that really to be a more effective board member, to be a more effective participant in, in, in corporate governance was to just realise that you don't know it all, you're not expected to know it all um, that it's actually more about your way in which you engage the, the questions and we learned a lot about the contrarian and the benefits of being a contrarian or if you don't understand something you ask not to sit placidly and assume that uh, you're being told all the information. Listen. Listen more from the board because in the class discussions that happened during the course lots of people had different perspectives we had, saw, we had a lot of respectful debates and you learned to actually articulate yourself better when you were, had a point to share and you learned to listen more effectively and then combine the two to actually reach a consensus in, in decisions or in, in, in opinion, which I think is vitally important uh, when you're involved in the board. And I think lastly as well, um, but between the lectures and the assignments and the exams, um, you learned to be prepared and I think that's vitally important to be an effective contributor to corporate governance is you arrive at your board meetings or committee meetings prepared. Um, so there will be the key learning points, um, not underplaying any of the subject matter that we learned, but they were the key takeaways I had from doing that course.